Hey, hey, and welcome to the Earth Comic School. And today we'll take a look at the second half of Ralph Nies's artwork that I saved up. And before I show you what he sent me, like scribbles, drawings, uh, I will also show you that he uh, sent me sometimes um, PDFs of stuff he was working on um to show me his workflow unfinished stuff layouts um a beautiful one and like here he was sending me his calendar preview the print files beautiful stuff i will go into this another time um and we have here me uh Polychronos, a beautiful story about a high school set somewhere. I say somewhere because I don't know where this high school is. It's a very, I don't know, it goes a bit like Matrix and it's about teenagers, love, school, but also some strange things going on there with VR, uh, virtual reality. And somehow, um, yeah, they try to escape from what they know and for a different time, definitely. What do we have here? Oh, here we have uh, another comic. And yeah, so slowly we'll get there. And I got here the young time traveler and squint and Meccano tombstone. I did a... Uh, well, I could have done it here also, but I didn't know that I had it as a PDF. Well, I kind of know that I knew. And well, let's get into the pictures we were here. And um, this is, I guess, Legion, the Legion series from FX. He was a big fan of this, Legion, the son of David E. Savior, Savior uh, from the X-Men. Professor X and there's a great show I will watch um, lately I'm interested in the everything everywhere at once and then um, Legion the FX show and Severance and yeah let's see um, some more great drawings well great stuff like his layouts Pretty fun stuff, like already the layouts look really good. Um, this is so beautiful, like here, flip, 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 flip. the 23 knives of Satyr want to kill you. And then he engulfs this guy and I don't know what, your human husk will be killed slowly over the course of thousand years while you're gluck, entombed in the ground until maybe someone takes you out. No, oh, and then, yeah, let's do it here. Very cinematic, like you see in the background, it's coming here to the foreground. Here you see a figure in the foreground, uh, background, midground, foreground, the young time traveler. And then here it goes from the foreground to the midground to the background. Like always, beautiful this this um, guiding the eye line and creating space and depth. Beautiful layouts. I love how I did this. Like very, very simple lines, but very um, they have volume to it. Like yeah, and it's also very beautiful those those legs beautiful here this long, young little guy found yeah beautiful drawings very playful all the stuff um at the same time somehow blocky and then beautiful also the colors like um the color a darker tone even uh let's say Highlight, mid-tone, darker, and then highlighting it with white. 
and giving giving it some depth with black like it looks so simple when you look at it but then i wouldn't say that doing it is also hard but you need to know what to do um some beautiful renderings drawings i guess painted with gouache yeah beautiful like this one wants to make me want to draw just the shapes the lines the colors like every every line everything is made with some love and knowledge <laughs> and also very funny really cool um we'll see how far are we in this time i want to make it a bit shorter um let's see but yeah you can see like he was drawing i don't know did he draw it a second time or i don't know what he was showing me here uh maybe his drawing and then he printed it out but as you can see on a4 beautifully drawn layouted and a lot of a lot more Beautiful over here, the pillow fight in illustration where the alien queen and Ripley fight against each other. Um, totally cool. Great artwork. Oh, here he was. Uh, how can I turn this around? Layouts for Polychronos. Beautifully. Like the figure of the girl. The legs, the knees, technical stuff, kick back and enjoy the ride. Beautiful drawing also, like, um, uh, not only beautiful drawing, like also the fonts. I know he used a different font, but I really like, like the lines he makes are really cool. Here you can see the blue lines, how many blue lines before he then gets into the pencils. And here too, like look, blue lines here, the hand of the woman. I don't know, was this guy called Mike? But yeah, you see a lot of construction underneath this guy and then um, he does his best with the pencils and this is how it looks. Just great, amazing stuff, great insights. <clears throat> Hold in there for a minute. Here's something. What what is it? You'll see. And then yeah, sexy stuff. Sexy teacher, lady. And then this guy. Great layouts. Um amazing. Um how do you say decision making and taking the frame like here the glasses are put like you see here the uh, guiding the eye line putting it here then we hear this freezes the panel for a second and then we come up from here go down here and then great stuff I'm like really blessed that uh i have this concept so i know how to do it in the future and also um, I'm not getting discouraged doing it, but uh, instead try to aspire to get to a certain level. Um, it, it looks definitely easy, but there's a bit of knowledge you need to put down here um, or here to capture all of this. But it's doable. Look here, beautifully made. How they work out. How she, how she looks over and he sees her and yeah and i think polychronos was really great it was like um normal high school but somehow it ain't um here 
is using his light box, light boxing, and then inking over it with some pretty thick lines, beautiful, um, spotting the blacks, just amazing. Like the workflow, he always closes his lines, so um, he can click here and just fill it with a certain color like it's it's better that way because sometimes when i draw um like i draw the hair and i don't close the lines and then i have a i have a different approach in coloring it and that's fine too but yeah really great stuff here again some things getting light boxed like really amazing uh, just cool stuff great great style i don't know who this guy in the back is if this is poseidon somehow chained and even here cooler stuff I don't know if he printed some of uh, the Polychrono stuff, but yeah, it would have been cool if he kind of finished this and it got um, like printed and sold. Yeah, Ralph Niese died uh, November 2020, I guess, of a heart attack. Um, and I'm remembering and showing some of his artwork because I think he was really great and hopefully inspires new generation to do something like this. Yeah. Um, great stuff like here, one girl tries to flee from that school and she meets up with a strange thing, but she calls this her lover and somehow where they go to school it's somehow guarded by some girls with military girls with some assault rifles like pretty strange stuff and oh it's really beautifully sexy told drawn um great great artwork I don't know what this was or for what this was, but a beautiful illustration of some Star Wars things. Look here at Chewbacca. Just amazing drawings. I love also the color style. Great. Um, great coloring. Beautiful. Like this blue and purple and magnificent like pretty cute amazing sexy stuff very effortlessly it seems also beautiful Yeah, I don't know. This is older stuff from 2011. A different style. Um, very, very good. But somehow mm, it looks a bit more like an American superhero comic. Um, here an illustration. Beautifully, also like he always had also a sense for like what's right, what's wrong, um, and he was this very, very conscious guy of like what we're doing to the planet, time traveling, totally into all of that strange stuff. Look at this one, beautifully. Somehow, if this comic, I like, I think this is the quasi immortals, and yeah, some illustrations he painted. The 
simpler stuff. And yeah. Totally cool. Um, I think if you're if you're like drawing for that long with that passion and that power, um, at a certain point, like this is two thousand nine, certain style definitely emerged and um the things he learned and soaked up really like i don't know i mean i think everybody's style is unique it's like what comes out of you what um what you like what you look at what you steal from um and i wouldn't call steal from but like you get influenced by sources and then um, sometimes uh well you get a to be an amal, amalgamation of the things you love and then you try it out and you go down that route and certain things feel right for you so um yeah that's how your style grows and i think that's where you can see ralph nisa's style being very unique like you can definitely um, I don't know, from 2006, you can see the Ralph Nisa style here, but then it evolves, like he has different stages, and I think every artist goes through those stages, or if you, I see this, or just the way some things are drawn, um, yeah, it's good to see. Very iconic just beautiful so if you want to draw better check out your anatomy so that you can construct this in the proper the proper way and then check out what you love and like and try it out and then fundamentals will meet style and that's when great stuff begins this is also very cool um i think this is a ralph nisa piece yeah 2014 looks like Ralph Nisa, like all this body armor and everything like this but yeah beautiful here he gets into a different this is 2009 and yes i don't know this if this is is this olaf brill donald hello I don't know if this is Ralph Nise or um, he made some alias up or if this is somebody else. I gotta check it out. But yeah, some more um, layouts. And it and I can definitely recommend to work on paper because, yes, you will make mistakes, but you will have original artwork and it will just look and feel completely different in my eyes. it's You can do whatever you want. Um, here, the good old Faber-Castell broad pen, the things he used. Um, I got myself a same or similar um set up but yeah pretty much the fine liners the two pen pens with uh one blue lead and one normal lead the broad pen fine liners i used the pigma or the staedtlers and that's how you do it yeah great art style like look here and everything masterfully crafted like he, he did put in the time and he wanted to get things right and that goes a long way like the more i watch things like this i aspire and then um i guess i gotta create time for this and then go back to work
This is also very cool, 2009, some chick from, <laughs> I don't know, World War Special Forces, German Special Forces, strange things, definitely, cool stuff. Well, I'll wrap it up now, I don't know how much time we're in, but you get the idea you see what I've saved up. Oh, here is the quasi mortals painted up. Just amazing. Oh boy, oh boy. And they made so much beautiful stuff. Like, um, that's incredible. I guess how much artwork from him is out there. And, um, Donald Hello. Maybe this was like his alias in 2009. Yeah, and here is a, an episode, chapter one. Like this guy has this arm now, and it's taking him over and making something else out of him. And then, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> pretty amazing. Great stuff. The quasi models, rough knees. Yep. Browsing through this, getting to the end, and wrapping up part two and the final part of the Ralph Niese art spotlight. I mean, you get the point. You know who he is, how he draws. Uh, very specific style um and not only the drawing style also his choice of character and how much things he saw in the world he put in here like every everything we see is like really rich like you see a monster and then a girl with some gum here on her shoes and just very, very uh, beautiful stuff. I think this was his uh, Diplomarbeit, Sommer Semester 2010, his uh, final work at his university, Beruf und Comic, <laughs> Hobby oder Job, yeah. Karriere im Internet. Like very beautiful, like Beruf, uh, it's called uh, your profession, but Berufung is put together, it's called calling. Um, you're calling comic and also people when they ask me can you make a living from that can you live from that and I always answer yes but it takes sometimes time and not only do you have to master like how to draw like also publishing marketing keeping the good stuff coming and it can be sometimes rough because we're not prepared for this but he wanted to do it and he did and yeah Definitely, he did put out a lot of comics and created cool stuff. Beautifully. And like each picture I see, I want to totally soak everything up because the forms are so beautiful, the colors are beautiful, um, and the drawing style. Yeah. And I think over time, he got a bit simpler. Like here, it's all already beautiful but so much stuff and some of it you can miss and i guess with time um he got a bit more intentional with his lines a bit more clearer here it's all like you cannot really distinguish he tries it or he does distinguish these guys with a color but with time he gets much much better but what he does get right is like always the action, the colors, and just amazing, like the moments. And always like, as I said, the, the things he puts together.
here more simpler, more distinct. Yeah, man, so much cool stuff. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's come to an end. I said it a couple of times before, but yeah. What is this? Is this like some beautiful wastelands? Okay. This is really cool. Look at this. Beautiful, like the yellow outlines, highlights. So much good stuff. And I guess this is also just an incredible how much stuff. But I guess this is how you get good because like um, I've seen a thing uh, today on YouTube and I wasn't really watching it but it was like here like the curve was perfection like you peak and then you go down and then like doing 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 you just get better and I think that um, if you focus on 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 the doing okay this was literally the last one if you focus on doing you will get better when you're intentional about your doing, when you see where you need to get better and what you got to do. So I wrap this one up and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.